Hello everyone. Hi. Hello. Welcome to a rambly vlog. I be prepared for God knows how many minutes of me talking about my life to fill you in on what's happening, but also so that I can look back and be like, this is what Emma was thinking back on what the 17th of March, 2024, three and a half months away from moving away to Walt Disney World. How is that even real? This is the second update in my update series. Welcome to my little moody lighting room. I am a mood lighting gal. You can see I've got my candle, I've got my, my pretty mood lighting. I just love being cozy, so this is the vibe for today. I hope that that's okay with you guys. I'm practicing doing more of this like vloggy content rather than like set up my camera, sit down stuff. So maybe I might move around and do some clips, but I'm currently sat at my desk because I wanted to chat for the first portion of the video. So as I said, I'm three and a half months away from moving to Disney World and a lot has been on my mind lately and I wanted to get it off my chest but I also think maybe this will be kind of like an enlightening video for those who are looking to do the CRP because I feel like not many people talk about like the circumstances they come into the CRP on, like what are their plans post CRP. Basically you're going on this epic American adventure for a year but what are people's plans afterwards. So, I am a Virgo rising, I'm a horoscope girly, astrology girly, please don't come for me if you hate that stuff, I'm sorry, I just love it. I'm very organised and I love thinking about the future. Like I envisioned going on the CRP so many years ago and I said in my life I'm going to be going out and living in Florida every year doing the cultural representative program and here I am three and a half months away from doing it so manifestation works, thinking about the future works and I wanted to share where I am with that in my current life. I think the best way to break up this vlog in terms of my thought process because my head is like here, there and everywhere is talking about where I am now, what I'm planning to do post CRP and like who I am as a person in terms of going on to the CRP I guess. And also I will update on some fun little things as well. If you're interested in other things besides me rambling about myself, I am gonna show and talk about some bits that I've been up to. So stay tuned for that. Who am I before the CRP? Well, something has changed in my life very recently that I did not realize was gonna happen. And it's exciting and it's scary and it's cool. And it just goes to show that life doesn't pause because you've got things going on in the near future. Like things can change just like that and what happened for me is four months before I'm going out to America I got a new job <laughs> and like I guess some people would be like why do you want to do a job for four months? In my head it's because I just want more experiences in my life. I want to do something exciting. I was in my job for like two years and I was just looking for something new and I know I could have waited an additional four months but like when life throws you an opportunity, sometimes you just have to be like, yeah, I'll do it. Why not? You know, like that's the only way that you can progress as a human. So, so I'm on my third week of my new job. I'm, st I'm going into my third week tomorrow uh, when I'm filming this video and it's a really awesome job. Very excited about it. Not going to talk too much about what the actual role is, but it's my first salary job actually. Um, I've always worked for like a wage and on an hourly rate because I've worked in hospitality but this is a little bit of shift of a shift in my work job type I guess so yeah more money able to save Disney good vibes and I'm working from home as well so there is that opportunity for me to like finish work and then do some more preparing for the CLP it's given me an infinite supply of time to prepare myself for Disney. I'm not having to commute as much so I get a bit more time at home to organize myself which has been so crazy valuable like I, had, like I didn't even realize how much I was going to appreciate the extra time to prepare myself and to be in my house to navigate this new journey in my life. So yeah there's that. Before I went into this new job I was actually working at Center Parks as a high ropes instructor I can say that now because I don't work there anymore and I don't generally say what place I'm working at for safety reasons. It's a bit different with the CRP because it's such a big 
program and stuff and loads of people are doing it and it's quite normal to vlog it but with like my everyday job it's not as normal so I haven't said that before but yeah that's what I was doing before this for those who are curious. So I've not just been thinking about how I'm preparing for the CRP, I'm thinking about life post CRP because I'm trying to avoid getting becoming stagnant going into like fun employment all that stuff i'm trying to prepare myself as best as possible to be able to come back from disney and just seamlessly flow back into life in the uk because i know it's going to be a big change coming back from living out there for a year i know from experience from going abroad and living these experiences and doing these sorts of things that after i've come back i've always felt so inspired and like i want to really like take life and just roll with it and like take that momentum and do some really good stuff so I don't want to come home to a mess to things problems that I've just left for future me so I'm taking the opportunity in these three and a half months leading up to Disney to eliminate any possibility of that so basically I didn't want to leave future me in a position where I come back from Disney, my house is a mess, I have loads of things to sort out already on top of probably all the things that I'm going to be bringing with me from Disney and all the bits I'm going to buy, even though I'm going to try not to buy loads of stuff, I know I will. I've been on a mission recently and I've been doing really well on my mission, but my mission has been to do a complete sort out, a complete declutter. We all know that we collect junk and we have junk drawer upon junk drawer upon junk drawer and I am no stranger to this so I have been on a mission recently and I've been doing well so I'll show you my progress in terms of doing my big declutter so essentially I had drawers of so much rubbish so much crap and this room that I'm in right now which is my room has been completely organized and I'm very proud of myself the, the spare room though not so much, but I'm in the process of donating things and getting things in a nice position. So maybe this is something that people haven't really thought about. I mean, maybe it's not necessary for most people, but I think I just know that when I come back from America, I'm going to be like this fresh new person. And I wanted to basically be ready to, if for example I come back from Disney and I end up moving or I end up moving on with my life because my next goal in life is definitely getting my own space and getting my own home and things that it would be just easy to pick up everything and move essentially so that's what I've been up to and it's been going really well and I'm really proud of myself and I just want to show you my pretty room because I've just it's been really good I've been really excited I've just been doing so well mm -hmm. okay let me show you so oh my god ignore the messy bed it's because i've been lying on it normally it's not this scrumpled but scrumpled is that even a word look at all these cute little designs on it so yeah everything is just so organized like i'm literally just gonna be able to grab stuff out these drawers and just freaking bring it with me to disney i'm just oh, i'm just so happy sorry my <laughs> strap is in the way um you know i've got everything hanging up and I know nobody cares, but I care to show you, so here you go. Look at this organisation. I'm only going to briefly show you this because I know nobody really cares that much. But look! Oh! Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, and look at me. I really, I really hope, guys, I really hope, guys, that I am able to bring May with me. Like, I really hope that I can fit her. But this will come, this will be a problem that will come when we get to the packing vlog, guys. <laughs> because I love her and I want to bring her. She's my favourite. I love turning red, by the way. I know I've told you guys this before, but yeah. So basically, that's the plan. I'm doing well, and that is me. Boring updates aside, let me show you some exciting things. I got a cute towel. It's so exciting, isn't it? So exciting. I got this purple towel so that I can have a nice new soft towel when I go away and it has little flowers on it it reminds me of Daisy my girlfriend so he 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 that is half the reason I bought it but don't tell anybody um but yeah it's really cute and also 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 last update official exciting thing I booked my hotel 
for when I'm going to Disney for the first two days. I'm gonna be staying in Pop Century and I'm very excited. So, end of vlog. Thanks for watching. Bye, 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 bye. I'll see you soon. Love you.